Hello, Linda. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Good. Great. Thank you. And first of all, I want you to introduce yourself. Hi. Uh, my name is Linda garcia Daly. I am um, uh, actually residents of San Dimas, but I've been an oil painter for pretty much all my life. I love working on oils and um, producing landscapes, um, interior scapes, and just all kinds of things. Okay. Uh, tell me, tell me about your body of work. Um, again, I uh, usually work in oils, um, so I'm producing um, landscapes, um, interior scapes. I usually work on items or images that are close to home to me. I find I want something that conveys the same sense of uh, comfort and uh, security, just an ease of mind. And, and usually, I find this within nature or even just within my house. Okay. Great. Uh, what inspires your creativity? Uh, just actually, you know, it, sometimes just even the way the, uh, the light hits uh, across the floor or maybe it dapples through trees just really inspires me. I think I've got to find a way to, to capture that. Okay. Now, what motivates you to create? <laughs> uh, if you're an artist, you know you have to create. Um, it just doesn't matter. You could be sitting somewhere and you just, you, you can't not create. You have to. It's in your blood. So there's no, no anything that could say that motivates me per se. It's just because I'm an artist, I have to create. Okay. Now, what's your strongest influence on your work? So, um, I am definitely influenced by the Impressionist School, the Realists, and also the Hudson River School because they looked at um, light and nature and the emotionalism that came from it. Okay. Strong influence there. Okay. Now, personal question, but how do you how do you define success? Oh, um, <laughs> That's a big one, but I'm going to say if I am pertaining to my art, that it comes out like I want it to. Anybody who's creating something, I feel every one of us has a point in our creation process where it fights us, um, and it does fight me. I just want to make sure that once the, all that struggle is done, all that, that putting the paint on the canvas, it's what I was attempting to do. And, and, and if it does it, that is definitely success. Okay. Great answer. Um, has your style changed throughout the years? Um, I think any of us, as we go through life, our style, not only our artwork is going to change, um, our own image of ourselves is going to change. So that will be reflected in, in our artwork. If I look back even 20 years ago, there would be a changes in my work. Yeah. Now, an answer, a question I have to ask every artist is, how do you seek out opportunities as an artist to show and sell your work? Oh, um, there is so much information out there right now. Um, I belong to different organizations which always have, you know, exhibits themselves or allow you to exhibit in their gallery. Um, uh, this museum is a wonderful opportunity because uh, every year they have a, a big open church, well, first of all, an open church show to um, to everybody and then out of that the winners are chosen and i've had the uh, fortune to to be chosen several times um, and then the next year we get to exhibit our works you know just us and that's wonderful this museum does a great job of making sure the community is uh, being served um, online you can go online and find different uh, uh, services that offer uh, ex exhibition opportunities okay now, what is your connection to Ontario and the surrounding communities, if any? Um, I would say that I'm, I'm very active in, in getting uh, pieces shown here in this museum. I've um, helped uh, out, um, I shouldn't say helped out, I've actually produced uh, the paintings on two of the, uh, the little utility boxes, one in front of City Hall um, and also one in front of Chafee Community Museum of Art. Um, worked on and produced the uh, Christmas card last year. So even this city, Ontario, offers myriad uh, invitations to artists to produce work for them. Oh, and I've had that opportunity to do so for them. That's great. <laughs> Congratulations on doing that yeah. too. Thank you. Uh, now, what do you enjoy most about the Ontario, Ontario Festival of Arts? <laughs> I think what I enjoy most of any time I get together with various artists, 
just the opportunity um, to, to talk and to um, feel that I'm, I'm a part of the community, to just inter interact with people walking and just and just sharing my story and my art with them. They just want to see something nice. They want to talk to you about it. They want to have that open experience. And just... <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing that information with me. And is there anything you'd like to add? Um, buy art. <laughs> Artists need support. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. It's a perfect answer. And with that, I'm going to say thank you so very much for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you. And I'm going to visit your booth a little bit later on and enjoy some more of your work. Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.